If you want to see where your nodes are being called from, go to view and select show for all nodes. This will show all the dependencies for all the nodes as these orange arrows. If you just want to see the dependencies for the selected nodes, click show for selected nodes. I personally prefer this one as it looks much cleaner. Now this setting will not be there once you restart Houdini. To keep it saved, you have to go to your desktop and save current desktop or you can save it as a new desktop too. To align your nodes, press and hold A, then click and drag up. Keep your cursor on the node that you want to anchor from. Hitting L will organize all your nodes. If you just want to organize selected nodes, select those nodes and hit Shift L. To do a quick merge, select multiple nodes, hold Alt and do a left mouse click. Press Shift S to change between the wire styles. Press C for color palette and press Z for node shape palette. Drag a color or a node shape on the node to change it. Hold Ctrl while dragging to save the node color or shape permanently. To quickly move some procedurally generated geo from one Houdini project to another, put a stash node and move to the other project. Be careful of stashing high poly geometry because stashing adds to your hip file size. If you have a large file, then use the file cache node instead. Also, you can copy and paste any selection of nodes from one Houdini project to another. The Intersection Analysis node will show the intersections in your geometry as points. If you have some geometries and curves slash polylines merged together, to separate them, you can put a measure node, measure the area, and primitives that have an area of zero will be the curves. Putting zero sometimes will select very tiny primitives. If you put the expression for area to be smaller than a really small number, it will work fine. This button here will visualize the groups. You can also select what type of group you want to visualize from up here. So by default, Houdini allows you to snap to grid, polygons or points, but not at once. To do multi-snapping, go here and select whatever snapping you want. You can snap to primitives, points, edges, middle of the edges, and much more at once. You can quickly select a geo and add it via the file node by pressing the equal key. You can hit Ctrl F and search for nodes. If you enable search child networks, it will search inside of all the child subnets and digital assets too. To show a geometry as the guide geometry of a digital asset, go to the type properties in the nodes tab. In the guide geometry section, put the name of the node that you want to be shown as guide. It will be shown as a guide geometry outside of the node and will not contribute to the poly counts. So by default, the Houdini preference folder in Windows is in the Documents folder. If you want to, say, move it to your Google Drive so you can sync your preferences across multiple computers, go to the Edit Environment Variables in Windows and add this variable, Houdini User Pref Tier, and set the value to the location of your preferred preference folder. And that was all for this one. If it helped, please do like and subscribe to the channel. I'll try to bring out more videos like this more often. Thank you for watching.